what you are about to see is provided for education purposes only. How you use this information is totally up to you. We do not accept any responsibility for your application and use of this information. Now what we're about to see here is a test. A test between 12 volts, 20 volts, and 24 volts applied to the actuators on this small loader. So we're going to start off with 12 volts and we can already see that 12 volts is very very slow. So while it's going up let me inform you about this uh, tractor. It is specially wired for the experiments that we're conducting in different voltages. Your tractor is not specially wired so don't mix voltages. Okay. We can change over voltages very quickly on this tractor. So at 12 volts, almost there, 43.15 seconds. Alright, so we're going to switch over to 20 volts now. seems to be faster. Thirty point two zero seconds. So that is a thirteen second increase in speed for the 20 volts over the 12 volts. So now we're going to try the 24 volts. That is noticeably faster than the 12 volts. Which we would expect that. Twenty four volts, twenty three point two seven seconds. That is a twenty second increase in speed over twelve volts. Now at forty volts, what do you think happens? Well, this is what happens. Notice that the actuators have come apart. The motors run so fast that they are too quick for the limit switches to stop in time, and as a result, the actuators come apart. Now this is repairable but the point is we don't want that happening in real life to us. So what conclusions can we draw? Well 12 volts is obviously too slow and 40 volts is too fast. So that means the 20 and the 24 volts then have potential. They appear to have real potential to run these actuators. 20 volts seems to offer a stable, reliable increase in speed with little chance of damage to the actuators. That is in the tests that we've been running. The 24 volts offers a substantial increase in speed with some chance of damage to the actuator limit switches. Again, based on the tests that we have run. Neither 20 nor 24 nor 40 volts did noticeable damage to the actuator motors. However, a significant increase in voltage over time will shorten the life expectancy of a 12 volt DC motor. How much it will shorten the life remains to be seen. 20 volts seems to be a realistic option to use. 24 volts needs more research, so look for more videos on the 24 volt option. We hope that this has been informative to you. We hope you like what you've seen. If so, please click the like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you.